morning. <laughs> <laughs> See? British shopkeeping, Eddie. Best in the world. <laughs> yes, yes. Tuna, good. <laughs> We're a nation of shopkeepers, you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what makes us so great, you know. They don't call it Great Luxembourg, do they? No. Or Great France. What's so great about being a nation of shopkeepers? What's so great about being a nation of shopkeepers? Yeah, what's so great about it? Well, it makes us superior to everyone else. Because we know how to run a corner shop. <laughs> Good grief, Eddie. It only takes an ounce of brain power to see that. Well, that should suit you perfectly, then. How do you mean I don't understand that? <laughs> oh. The whole cast of Brookside are lesbians. <laughs> British journalism, Eddie. Best in the world. Bloody Nora! Neil Kinnock's grandparents were homosexual Martians. <laughs> He's kept quiet about that, hasn't he? Yeah. Lucky I read that, I was going to vote Labour. Yeah. <laughs> you know the great British scoop, Eddie. <laughs> I'd like to see the Amsterdam Evening News dig up something like that. <laughs> Frogs. Hell's teeth. You can get A's from bicycling. I know, I know. <laughs> and isn't it funny that you only read that sort of thing in a British newspaper? <laughs> yeah, well, you don't read French or Italian papers, do you? Well, I don't speak French or Italian. Good grief, Eddie. Hold together a cogent argument, why don't you? <laughs> oh, here we go. Holidays in the Algarve. Look at this. No electricity, no running water and 1,500 quid a month. People pay for this. South of France. We bloody invented it, mate. George III, he was the one. All that swimming business. And the windbreak. Who invented that? We did. The Brits. Never mind covering yourself in Mazzola and lying around with a bit of string up your crap. <laughs> now, quick dip in the briny, dig up a lugworm and back in the car before you get pneumonia. <laughs> yep, that's good enough for me. Oh, look at this. 38 quid. Return coach trip to Nice. Nude beach. Oh, excuse me. I didn't get my paper this morning. So? It's not my problem. <laughs> Be more careful. No, it wasn't delivered. Oh, I get it. Trying to get a free paper, are we? Spend all morning doing that, and you could open up a little paper shop, couldn't you? <laughs> Look, I don't know what your game is, but I didn't get my paper delivered this morning. Now I have the mail on Sunday, so if I could just take one now, please. No, that's the last copy. OK, I'll take that one. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> I'm reading that. Yeah, but it's mine. Oh, it's even got my name on it. Well, that's your name, is it? 55P. <laughs> Mr. 55P. <laughs> no, my name is Cooper. Look, it's written in Biro in the corner. All right, then, Mr. Cooper. There's your paper. Good morning. <laughs> well, where's the rest of it? What do you mean? Where's the rest of it? I would like the rest of my paper. Well, then I suggest you go outside, knock, and come in and ask for it nicely. What? <laughs> See you, Eddie. Yeah, bye, John. <laughs> thug. British thugs, Richie. Best in the world. 